Please welcome GMIS board member and past TNAC award winner, Dr. Juan Rivera, Director, Mission One, Advanced Technologies and Application Space Systems. Good evening, everybody. In the rarefied world of material science, it's not uncommon for 20 years to pass from the successful discovery and fabrication of a new material to its implementation in commercial applications. Dr. Orlando Rios and his team have been able to do it in less than three. As a scientist on the research staff at the Oak Ridge National Laboratory and as an associate professor in two programs at the University of Tennessee, Knoxville, Dr. Rios has established an outstanding technical and scientific research record. He and his team have invented a whole new class of aluminum cerium alloys that work in fundamentally different ways from all existing aluminum-based materials, offering designers, manufacturers, entirely new opportunities in a number of different realms, particularly production of rare earth elements critical to electronics, alternative energy, and other modern technologies. Dr. Rio's development work on the new alloy earned a patent and has garnered multiple awards. That discovery alone would be an enviable achievement for any materials researcher, but it's only one of the many areas that Dr. Rios has explored, including thermomagnetic processing of materials for applications in energy conversion, drastically reducing energy use. The discovery and the synthesis of magnets without rare earth elements, which will mitigate supply challenges of rare earth elements in critical energy and national te defense technologies. Dr. Rios has received a dozen patents for his work with another 21 patents pending, and he's published 40 articles in peer-reviewed research journals. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to present the award for outstanding technical achievement to Dr. Orlando Rios. Thank you. So research collaborations and partnerships and co-developments are timeless trademarks of scientific accomplishments. Transformational science has historically been built on the shoulders of giants and executed by colleagues with common interests, knowledge, and backgrounds. As a proud Cuban American, I have at times experienced real and perceived adversity in joining these small communities. Fortunately, today we have many advantages. Generation Excellence embraces the many radical transformations in communications, computing, and accelerating the pace of science, broadening the landscape of diversity of these tight knit teams. Recent communication innovations like video conferencing, collaboration tools, and countless others help us break down barriers culturally, geographically, allowing us to seed partnerships with greater diversity throughout and backgrounds. Today's beautiful and diverse gathering of young researchers and, culture and current and potential mentors represents an exemplary opportunity for the STEM community. I encourage us, us to make friends and broaden our reach. 